basically we use chart for graphical representation of data it's the part of yes, that's right. statics and uh, it is used in uh, from ancient time also it is not only uh, invented by excel was earlier things were there and they want to know that what is their uh, means all uh, army and land so most of the time their assistants used to show these kind of chart to them and one more benefit in today's world that when the person don't have time like our senior management so that's why they demand to understand data quickly in which this chart helps them basically our first chart is for comparing data for comparing data we use column chart okay so if you talk about okay. column chart so you can easily know which month sale is the maximum okay at which month is lowest in a first glance it is easy to say in this data that which month sale is low and which month sale is high but when data exceed more than two digit like here is some values in lakhs then it is difficult to understand by seeing data only here it is very difficult to say at which one is big bit which one is small so that's why we use charts so chart is the part of statics so it's a science basically and we have formatting here also uh, after inserting chart we have three types of toolbars when you click on chart first is design second is layout third is format in design you have the chart layouts different different type of chart layout available with you so you can change the chart layout from here second you can ch change the chart style from here there are different type of formatting chart design now they they got the um all, all the charts are two dimensional are there any three dimensional charts yes yes in chart type you can change the type like three dimension chart okay <laughs> okay so you can change the dimensions also then layout in layout you can insert chart title axis axis is this one axis title legends there are single legend data labels so all the things are available here grid lines chart wall and your 3d rotation oh so um on on that part on a grid line are you able to change the grid line so that it's a little bit more uh, dense 
Yes, it is available here. In layout, everything is available here. Then, okay. format, your shape. Yeah. So did you choose the background color from here? Then all the titles can be, all the text can be applied from here. So it is not very uh, user friendly in format, but layout and design you can use very easily. Okay. So before going ahead. Let us know what are the parts of data, parts of chart. So in this thing, first thing is our chart, the base thing is our chart area, on chart area our whole chart is dependent. Everything is dependent on chart area. Okay, now the um, the January, February, March, it's on the horizontal axis. How do you get it on the horizontal axis? Uh, I'm telling you. So in chart area, if you go, format chart area, right click the so format chart area you can set the uh, formatting yeah. of the chart from here for particular area there is separate uh, formatting dialog like for chart area this you can see when you click on these grid lines, so format major grid lines, it changes format data series format legend so there are lot of options format axis so let us understand about this formatting in chart area you can choose the color from fill you can choose the color from here also if you want no color you can set it to no fill so it will be transparent if you click outside, you can see there is a border. So in border, if you deselect border, so it will be transparent like this. So fill in a gradient field, there is a kind of design like presets. So design type linear, radial, rectangular so you need not to understand these all things but in uh, some presets are there you can uh, use as per your requirement in radial there, there is a round shape rectangular there is rectangular shape so some presets are there in gradients you can set the transparency and the start position of the gradients then picture and text fill texture fill so in this you can pick the picture from file any picture there are some textures available like pictures so you can use the texture for chart area clipboard in clipboard but uh, you think control C what type of like if you take any shape and color it or customize it then I am uh, right click I am going copy actually so I have copied this and 
in clipboard it will be available like this so it be shown here as a picture so you can create your own design to fill your background then you go automatic it will choose automatically color which will uh, by in in its default mode means it is like no color white will be there border color if you have line surrounded for chart so you can format the lines also select the color of the line border border style in border it is a type of a square border and you can choose the border style here width you can increase the width line style line style dash type means your line will be in breaks cap type so it will be cap when these brackets this brackets will be round kind of thing they will be rounded join it is your uh, this much this is square area this becomes round in join type a uh, rounded corner if you click on rounded corner so the corner will be rounded okay in shadow you have some shadow presets you can use so it will reflect some shadow you can set the size from here for the shadow you can choose the color for shadow also. 3d format you can set the 3d format from here for the chart area only for the chart area not for the chart okay so 3d formatting you can do from here 3d rotation will be applied on whole chart let me do for you so if i click on that it will change the perspective like 2d to 3d can set the angle <laughs> like camera angles now um mike i got a question can can, can these uh, charts change in real time like are you getting a live data feed is it able to change in real time what like um these charts uh, if like if these values uh -huh. are changing uh -huh. say every minute uh -huh. um, is it able to change in real time uh, it will be real time with the data if you have created chart if you uh, change the value it will be changed automatically let me reset it okay because uh, because I, I deal a lot with uh, stock quotes and stock quotes they're constantly changing see uh, this like this data if this value is changing so it will show you the immediate effect okay so it is already connected Oh, I see. Okay. Now let's see. 
so we have uh, known about chart area then let us see there is a plot area in plot area our chart area is dependent like this in what area the chart will be shown it depends on plot area so this is plot area so we have the separate formatting for plot area also same as chart area so same formatting is available here for plot area border style border color shadow 3d form then for data series for data series we have series options gap depth so gap depth exist actually it is very thin here it is shown very thin so no no get gap depth i will show you because it needs two types of data because i am in operating signal data so gap width you can choose uh, to set the gap between the series and the upper one gap depth will be used in second type of data when you have sales target some data if it is here i'm just increasing the let us take a second chart from insert column so there are two now we have two legends sales and target so for sales and target the separated overlap gap is there in series option so you can see the difference how near it should be there you can set from here the gap of the series you can set from here okay okay no oh, nice then go to fill for uh, series what color should be there in the series you can change the color it is actually already available there uh, what we can do through it like <coughs> it is uh, difficult to understand with color because we have to refer to the uh, sales and target uh, these legends let's see if uh, we want to make it very simple that it should be accessible very easily by looking just at the series so we can do one thing we can create columns like this like one shape then we can change the name like sales sales data like this we can give any type of formatting yeah. so that it will be easily understood then go to paste here as picture copy as picture no paste as picture first we need to copy and then we need to paste as picture so this graphic it will be created 
as a picture why i have created as a picture because you can see there is the area containing some uh, blank area also so for cropping this area in picture tools crop you can use to set the data uh, set this shape size and width so that there should be no gap now it is proper click on crop now it is a proper picture which i can paste on it so before pasting on it i need to rotate this now just press control c go to where you want to paste this thing format data series in fill picture and text go to clipboard so you can see that it is whatever you have written it is here now so you can format the series according to you your requirement like your company's logo you want to fix comparison between two companies two uh, state two companies where you want to show the logo so you can create like this and fix the logo oh that's really cool a lot of customization yes 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 one more thing with copy paste only if you have formatted some chart and want the same chart like that like uh, we take some data so i have a different kind of chart and this chart has different formatting so i want to make both chart same so what should i do i just copy this chart okay select this chart go to home paste special and paste formats okay it will be quick formatted now let's say other thing let's see other thing now go to formatting let's see others formatting also plot area the series we have known to till till the same we have till here yeah. like color picture and texture border color you can choose the border line color border style shadow nothing extra axis when we go to format axis so so you can see there are tick marks so how many tick marks you want you can insert from here like after two after two series you want tick mark after three categories in reverse order so category it will be started from others to like from here you can see most of the time it is just about the small formatting chart is all about small formatting so you can see it is not very difficult let's see here number formatting number formatting is also available with axis 
here you can format anything but there you can find uh, you can set the number formatting also like if you have selected this in number formatting you want to show the currency so you can show the currency here okay okay with number format you can set the fill uh, it is no of use I guess line color line style it is just about outer line shadow alignment alignment you can see so text direction here it is so <laughs> sometimes your data is very big it is not coming here this category axis has long data so you can rotate the direction from here okay <coughs> then these grid lines you want or not you can delete it the grid line styles are here available so if you want to show the chart only just uh, you can just delete these things this uh, plot area and chart area these grid lines you can delete from here if you don't want or you can disable from there also now I am adding right click on series add data labels so data label will be shown to you and add data label for second series I hear is a uh, there is a problem to seeing two data here so how I will go format data labels okay so where uh, what it should be shown you can uh, format from here that it should contain series name category name so you have tick marks or value only where it should be located it's your position center uh, create center in outside and outside and here inside base in base so you can set the position of this data labels you can set the number formatting also for this data label you can fill some kind of color border color like all the formatting then alignment in alignment you can choose change the text direction it is better option for uh, long data so you can set like this so it will be easily easily visible to others okay in this we also do like this rotate text and uh, center label position okay. so now it is more visible so you can set as per your requirement hmm. in right click you can add trend lines also here <coughs> so trend trend lines you have here exponential different kind of as per statics there are different kind of uh, trend lines and there are settings for trend lines okay so you can format your uh, chart like this this is the uh, formatting part of uh, in the chart now, now I'm, I'm, I'm curious, um, can the charting do uh, statistics functions? Uh -huh. Can the chart get do statistics functions? Try to. Do, uh, do the statistics functions like standard deviation, the mean? Standard deviation basically uh, uh, statics I don't know also statics but it is as per the requirement if the person says like this that you need uh, you have to show uh, how to evaluate this standard deviation 
so I will use the formula. But the name only I know. I don't know the what is the concept of the standard. Oh, I see. Well, you know, I, I think I think probably just um, get the, format the numbers in statistics and then and then just and then just give the um, the data for the chart. That will work. Uh, I don't know about this actually. Uh, the standard uh, statics uh, because uh, uh, I have done Excel only and not a statics. But uh, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. if the person a statics person say me that I have this type of work, you have to show standard deviation or use any other static term. I know the name only, not the oh, I see, yeah. that how it is manually calculated. I know that how to calculate on Excel. But uh, or the base, I don't know what it is. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> so it was our column chart with different type of uh, formatting options. Now let's see another chart. Column chart and bar chart are the same. Pie chart is used for share. Like you have some funds. Yeah. First you have some banks account, then you have funds. Like ICICI, HSBC, then standard charted. So you have three three accounts in three bank accounts and you have some funds in that the total funds you have this 800 so when we want to show the share so we use pie chart okay So pie chart, uh, there are also given which kind of formatting you want, a layout you want, you can choose from here. You need not to uh, do much things about this. And the formatting you can choose from here. Lot of formatting or options already there for pie chart also. Now let us understand the formatting of pie chart. In pie chart we have this uh, pie which we can stack, uh, we, we can move the pie from each other. So this feature we have with pie. Now let's see format data point. In format data point. series of we can just rotate the chart how we want that we can rotate it point explosion so for different different uh, for every series we have we just have to click and if you want to explode this one we can select the particular one and explode it then fill whichever you have selected you can change the color okay. separately you can choose the color just select on that and change the color by clicking on it You can change the color, border color, border. So border, border style and shadow are same. Now, if I click on right click and add data labels. 
So data labels have some values. Let us make the formatting as it was before because it is difficult to understand. So I can add data labels and data labels have some kind of formatting series name, category name, value or percentage. Mostly what we use percentage. So because how much percentage of fund it is here that 56% is in standard charted, 19% is in ICICI, 25% in HSBC. So just for knowing the share we use this pi function. Label position you can set from here. Number formatting you can set for currency and all. Now we have one more chart here. Let's say you have very low funds in some other bank like city bank. Two, five. Or in other bank, you have HDFC. Here you have to. So when we extend this, so it is very difficult to see what it is going here. So we can't understand. So for that, what we can do? We can use different uh, chart. Pi of pi. Okay. So this pi of pi chart, what it does, it selects some area and uh, tell the percentage that how much percentage it is containing here, and then split to a different pi chart. Well, that's pretty cool. Because it, it is a one percent, and what percentage it is covering, you can see here in different. This you can set from format data series. Right click on second, split series by position value percentage value. Just second plot contains two values, three values. How many values you want? You can show it. Show there. Okay. So if I have seen six, 3, so 3 will be separated here. So this 3, I don't think it will work. It, it need to be some less fun. Okay, like this. So 3 will be there. So for better visibility, they have created a spy for pi. Well, option and this pi explosion and everything is same. Second plot size you can choose that how much big it should be, how much small it should be. So you can set it. Okay. So this is your uh, pi chart to show the share. Then you have let's suppose uh, on yearly basis your sale increase or, or daily basis. Mostly we, uh, the person use for quarter trend analysis growth. This in this year our company grows in this one. So we generally use water, water, QPR one. Water one, water two, water four. Then next year. But uh, there should be something else. 
So when we have long data, we use line chart. To see the growth when we have some large data to see the trend that how it is how our company is going like it is also used for uh, uh, used to see the comparison but in a flow mostly for forecast in forecast we can predict that in a next 10 years where are our company is going Okay, on the basis of some targets. So with the with forecast function, they use this kind of thing. It is basically basically for growth, not for a specific one, a specific point, because there are less points only uh, five, uh, six or seven points are there. Sometimes it will be increasing to two hundred, three hundred, thousand. So it is is in they are not concerned about the point. They are concerned about the positions, the growth trend, where it is going, whether it is going in profit or going in loss. Just see like this. So on the basis of their, that, they predict company's future. For prediction, actually, they, they use a function, which we can easily uh, use. Like uh, if we uh, convert it to year, then it will be better. So 2005 till 2005, I was dragging the values like this. So we have data till 2014, let's say. We have data till 2014. Now we have to forecast the data for 2015, 16 and 17. So what we have forecast function. Mostly I don't use this, but let's see. Mm. No X, no Y. On the basis of that, it will be predicted or not. Basically, forecast uh, done for uh, two things. Uh, one is dependent on that. Something is dependent on that. Like that uh, this much quantity if we sell so we will get this much of profit let us see this function again because i'm not using it but let's say how it is used x is the data point for which you want to predict the value must be a numerical okay and why use what dependent array of numeric data known x the variance of known x must not be zero must not be zero e complex formula now basically that's what i am i want to say that it is dependent upon some kind of uh, 
known y known x so you can get the y data i guess predicts value for y and x value so it is done in two two things actually something let's say a uh, quantity like this this much quantities this much sales like this i'm not able to connect this i will get a proper example for it okay so let forget about forecast so hmm. basically we have forget i, I know um, um yeah I, I know um i haven't used it myself but i think in the past they use uh the data points to create a formula and then once they get the formula then they just put in the numbers but i i think it, it tries to uh, get those um x and y values and create the formula uh, yes 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 this formula this forecast uh, uh, the value like just like average it takes the average so it is on the basis of that it takes average that's right yes uh, so I, I i don't use it that's why i don't know so no problem oh well, that's okay i uh, i don't use it much either <laughs> so like uh, our line chart we have area chart also so we have area chart also like line chart same functionality scatter scatter are also line charts but it shows the points only uh So line charts uh, we have done. Then, so these kinds of chart is available. Now in our next session we will do uh, dynamic charts. Okay. Okay. Should we end the session okay. now? Okay. Uh, then next so, um, use dynamic charts and how to use charts with controls and how to create that dashboard that will be clear into next session okay okay great yes i'll see you tomorrow then uh, if you have query you can take a special class uh, from me also by taking time there is no problem in future also okay it's okay uh, so off for today Okay, great. Yeah, so I'll, I'll I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you.